see here there's a large piece of rust. Good morning everyone, welcome to the channel, Tesla Owner's Perspective. If this is your first time coming, uh, I hope you enjoy my content and welcome. If, the, if you're returning, welcome back. Thank you for coming back to watch the videos. Uh, today it's a really nice sunny day, however, it's freezing. It's 18 degrees out, it's pretty cold. Uh, we got dumped by, I don't know, a foot of snow over the last couple of days. Um, but today I wanted to talk about rust. Um, in a previous video that I recorded a few days ago, um, it was the installation of the paint protection film as well as the ceramic and the tinted windows in the front. And during the inspection of the vehicle after the uh, decontamination wash, the eagle eyes of one of the guys that was cleaning the car, his name is Colin, really smart, knowledgeable guy from Titan Motor Works, he noticed that I had some rust. Pretty shocking. I have some rust on the window trim, but it's the black trim that goes around the front door of the driver's side. It's not a lot of rust, but it is some rust, and it's kind of annoying, surprising, and shocking considering that I paid so much money for this car. Um, you would think that there wouldn't be any sort of rust, especially after having it for, I don't know, less than two months now. Pretty ridiculous. But in this video, what I wanted to do is I wanted obviously to show you the rust, show you how um, the rust was spotted. Um, at the same time, uh, I want to show you how to request service on the Tesla app and also show you the wheels. So not the wheels, I think they're called the, um, the rotor, the rotor, the brake rotor. It's the round cylinder that's right behind the, the tires, the wheels on the Model X. They are also look like, um, uh, they look like they're starting to rust. There, there's like an iron color on there. And I don't know if that's normal. Um, there's also something else to report is that when I hit the brake, I, I rarely hit the brake, but when I do hit the brake, there's sort of a uneven vibration. I'm not sure if it's coming from all of the brakes and all of the wheels or just a couple or one, but that's something else that I've got to mention when I uh, make my appointment for either Tesla mobile service, if I have to take the car into Tesla itself. When making an appointment to have your Tesla service, you have two options. Well, the first option is uh, when you make your appointment, they could either have you, first option, they'll have you bring the car into the Tesla service facility, or option two is they have a mobile service where a mobile to a, uh, a Tesla technician comes to your home um, with a, uh, uh, the last time someone came, they came with a Model X, and they repaired some issues that I had with the Model Y. You actually won't know what your options are until the day before or a week before Tesla comes out to either service your car or you wind up going to Tesla itself. Those, that's something that you don't know right away when you make your appointment. I wanna show you the rust on the window trim and I also wanna show the rust on the, I'm not sure if they're called drums or rotors. I don't think it's normal. None of my other cars have ever had this. So I don't know, let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're in the driveway. The Model X is right behind me. And this area right in here, this is a metal, I think it's a metal trim piece. Right behind this trim piece, there is some rust. Um, it looks like it's on the trim piece. I don't think it's on the actual car itself, but it's this trim piece here. So right in here, I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up, it's pretty sunny out. Right in here, there's a large piece of rust. right in here so besides the rust on that uh, trim piece um, I'm not sure if they're called rotors or drums I so this is the front wheel and the tire obviously but if you look back there that rust color area that goes around that entire cylinder completely around it go to the other tire This one has it as well. Let's go to the other side. This one does as well.
the rear tire. You can see it. And there's the brake. I don't really know much about the rust behind the wheels at all. Um, that may be something that's normal or something that needs to be repaired. It could be due to the lack that I don't really hit the brakes much and maybe there's some sort of buildup on there, but um, it has to be seen by a technician. And that trim piece or the metal piece that's by the window, that's definitely gonna have to be replaced. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to uh, show you what it's like to book an appointment on the Tesla app and share it with you. I'm gonna now show you how to book service on the Tesla app. So obviously the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open up the app. After opening up the app, you're gonna scroll down to where it says service. Uh, you're going to request service. And then you're given several options of what to choose from. You've got collision and glass, noise vibration, tires and wheels, exterior, interior, software, battery, upgrade accessories and others. So right now I'm gonna hit exterior and it says door handles and latches. So uh, headlights, taillights, windshield wipers and exterior trim. So I'm gonna hit exterior trim and I'll click done. They're gonna want me to, it says here, uh, exterior, describe your concern. Okay, well, I'd like to do that. And I'm basically gonna type uh, found rust on the driver's side window trim. We'll go back, request another service, select service, tires and wheels, tire swap, tire rotation, it's none of these, so I guess we'll have to go to other. I'm going to hit other and I'll tap something else, done. I'm going to describe what the issue is. Rust colorization on all, I'm going to write brake rotors and vibrating when hitting the brake. I'll hit next. So after putting my address in, it gave me a date of March 1st, 2022 at 10.30 a.m. at the uh, nearest Tesla service center. So I will be taking the car there on that date and we'll see what happens at that point. I've shown you how to request service on the Tesla app, which is pretty simple. It's intuitive. There's nothing really difficult about it. If you've had the Tesla for any amount of time, you can just by using the app, you realize how easy it is. I'm really kind of upset about this whole rust situation with the Model X. Had it not been for the guys at Titan Motor Works that were doing the decontamination wash, I don't know that I ever would have spotted it until it would have been maybe too late. I'm not quite sure yet if it's on the actual trim or if it's on the metal. It appears to be on the trim, which can be replaced. It's not that big of a deal, but when you consider the fact that the car costs six figures, it's less than two months old, there's a big problem there. There's a fundamental issue there with the way that Tesla is inspecting their vehicles before they're being delivered to customers like myself and everyone out there that's, that owns a Tesla. To me, it's inexcusable. That is something that should have been caught. They should have repaired it before I found out about it. Now I've got to make an appointment, take it in, wait, or perhaps have to um, come back another day while they repair it. So it's time. And I don't, I don't have time to be going to Tesla for this. This should have been taken care of. It, actually, it should have never happened to begin with. I've owned Audis. I've owned BMWs. I've owned uh, Range Rovers, Land Rovers. None of them ever had rust. I'm sure there are some that have rust, but never have, none, of, none of my previous cars have had rust. I have a 2003 Toyota 4Runner that I purchased in 2003. It has about 156,000 miles, zero rust, zero. 2022 Tesla Model X, two months, rust. I, I don't get it. I honestly don't understand it. Tesla's gotta pick up their game. This is, this is inexcusable. Six figures, rust. After I take the car to Tesla to have it uh, repaired, I will make a follow-up video 
and I'll keep everyone posted as to what the progress is and what they're gonna do to repair it. For everyone that's been giving me those thumbs up, really appreciate it. Um, all the comments, all great comments. I reply to every single one of them. If, I, if I've missed one or two, I apologize, um, but I'm pretty uh, diligent about responding. Um, everyone that's subscribing, you guys are really helping the channel grow. I really appreciate that as well. Um, I'm thinking about an idea for next video. I'll get to that and everyone please stay warm and on to the next one. Thanks for watching.